Hey everybody, I'm Matt and welcome to Creators Weekly Workshop. This week I want to show you how to make a beautiful looking side menu. Over the past week we've actually got a lot of requests on how to take our side menus, customize their look and feel, maybe remove the backgrounds from the list items, or even make those list items highlight depending on the current state. So I wanted to show you how to do all that and more in a quick tutorial just showing you how to make a really awesome looking side menu for your app. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start a new project and we're just going to call this beautiful side menu, choose side menu as a type and create that project. And here it's just gonna bootstrap our standard side menu project. So we're gonna have three pages that are automatically hooked up to three different list items in our side menu, just like that. Now the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is I wanna just change the header color overall for the app. So we are going to change the header background to positive and change the theme color positive to be a nice red color. So as we save that here and we close, we'll see that the overall menu of our app is that red and our side menu still maintains that stable. But we're actually going to want to select this page, hide header, and so we can get rid of that header option. Now, as you can see, these list items have been pushed all the way up to the top. So let's grab our spacer component here, add something to the top just to give us a little bit of room. We're gonna make that fairly small we're actually gonna duplicate it and then throw an image in between there. And this image is what we're gonna kinda of use as a profile image starter. So here we're gonna to wanna to upload an image. And I'm just going to choose an image from over here that I already have of myself, right? And then we're gonna change this to be like a 40% width to give us kind of a little bit size there. And you know what, maybe I do want to add just a little bit more spacing to that top, maybe just a little bit more spacing to the bottom. So overall, we're not looking too good yet, but we're getting there. So now I want to do two different things. We're going to get a background uh, gradient on this page, and then we're going to turn this profile image into something circular with a nice border. So let's, on our page, add here, we're going to do side menu gradient as a class on our side menu here and over here we're going to open up our custom SCSS and I am just going to copy over a gradient that I already have programmed. Now as I add code to SCSS and other places throughout this app you can find all the code for this at github.usecreator.com this is going to be the beautiful side menu tutorial so that's the section where you can find all the code for this. So now as you can see though in this side menu gradient I actually use some variables so we are going to grab side menu top and side menu bottom and put them up here. So this is actual SCSS. So we will actually take these variables and we're gonna recompile all the SAS for you. You just have to remember to hit save to trigger that compile. So now that that's compiled, you can see we have our nice background gradient coming from here. So now the next thing I wanna do is turn this profile image to something that looks just a little better. So we are going to go over to our profile image and we are going to add a class of profile dash uh, image and go back to our themes and we are going to start working with profile image and then profile image is actually a container around the image so if you would use the Chrome inspector for instance you could see that in order to get some CSS on the actual image you're gonna to have to include an image tag there now here the first thing I'm gonna to want to do is a border radius of 50% to make that thing round uh, we're going to give it just a little bit of margin around the image and then give it a border of four pixels solid. And here we're going to want to start working with another variable, side menu transparency. And this transparency variable is just going to be another variable that I set here. That's an RGBA of white with a 40% opacity. So what this is going to give us right here is a round profile image with a little bit more space and you can see this nice little transparent effect that we have around this image here that looks pretty good. Now uh, let's say you also wanted to add a name so let's pull up here and we are going to do center on that we're gonna change it to white we're gonna do a 300 light here make it an h3 
and we are going to change this to my name, just so we get a nice little little text there to see you know, whose profile it is. We can see what account we're logged into automatically. So now we're starting to kind of come together a little bit, but we still have to work on these list items. Now, list items, as well as a couple other things in Ionic, already have styles built into them. For instance, one of the more complicated styles here is the background color of these, these tags here. So if I were to inspect this, what we can see is on this A, okay, we have a background color, but it's on item content. So if I was to add a background color to, for instance, the A tag, that wouldn't work. So the custom code I need here is going to be item content, not the A to override the background color. So back here, we are going to go to all three of these. We're actually going to add a class just to kind of make sure everything stays legit. So we're going to add side menu uh, item to all three of these just so we can work on a separate class for these fancy styles and so they don't override anything else in our app. So here we can do side menu item. And the first thing we're going to want to do is do a background none. Now, if you have something, uh, if the side side menu item is not linked that's what this background none is going to fix if it is linked we're going to want to override that item content and make that a background of none now the click state is an activated class so we're going to do and dot activated and we're going to put some code in there we're going to make the background into that side menu transparency if it's the activated one Okay, the other thing we're gonna to wanna to do is just change a little bit of the style on here. So let's do a uh, color white for the text color. Let's do that same font weight 300 that we did for the uh, H3 tag and set the border to zero pixels. So as we save that and preview, now we're getting these nice looking side menu items here. Now, this might look a little bland, so I like to go ahead and I'm actually going to rename these and add some icons to them just to give you guys a look and feel that looks good. So this one, let's call my profile and let's change the type to icon and make that left icon a person. Okay, let's change this one to my photos. change it to an icon, change that icon to be a camera. And let's change this one to be my favorites. And that is also going to be a type of icon in that we're going to use a heart. So overall, I just like the look of those icons on uh, this style of side menu the best. So there you go. As you can see, our active state when we click is that same transparency that's around our profile image up here. Now, kind of the last thing I want to show you guys is the ability to add an active state to this. So for instance, our home or my profile page uh, is currently active. Maybe we want this style to change a little bit. Now, that's not something that's built directly into Ionic 1. We do have to use a custom directive for that. So I am just going to open up our directives.js. Okay, and I'm going to copy over a directive I already wrote. Yet again, you can find this directive over at github.usecreator.com where you can find all the code that we use in our tutorials. Uh, now let me just explain this directive real quick. This is active page highlight directive. So what I'm going to do is go to each of these items, add a directive called active-page-highlight, and I'm not going to set a value. This directive doesn't need one. I'm going to add that to all three of our list items here. And what this is going to do is when it loads and whenever the state change success, it's going to call this check UI SRF function. So it's going to look at where the page is or where that link is going and check it versus the current state of the app. If it is the current state, we're going to add the class active page highlight to it. If it's not, we're going to make sure to remove that class in case it already existed. So now, you know, we have to save the changes to this code and we also have to add some style for that active page highlight. So let's open our theming back up, okay? And we are going to go to our theme SCSS here. And right in here, we're gonna do and.active page highlight. We are going to do 
that item content because these are linked items. And we're going to add that background side menu transparency. And we are going to save those changes so it recompiles our SCSS. And we are going to open that up and see that home or my profile in this case, we open my profile selected. I can switch. It maintains that switch. Switch again. It maintains that switch. So now we've got a really nice looking side menu complete with a background gradient, uh, a nice round profile image, as well as state that is actually remembered in our side menu items. So this is a great start for you guys to start making apps that look and function beautifully. Uh, now I want to start doing these weekly uh, creator things every single week, but I need ideas from you guys. So if you've got an idea or you've got something that you've put into your app that you think other people would like to know how to do, hit me up at Twitter at Matthew Kramer, and I might wind up making the weekly workshop about your idea. So until next time, guys, I will catch you later. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.